Hey guys, welcome back to Cake and Bake, the channel where we learn to bake together. Today we are going to be talking all buttercream and it's gonna be so cool and we're gonna do it right now. All right, so the first one we're gonna talk about is American buttercream. So we're gonna to have to get rid of these two. So American buttercream is the easiest buttercream to make. And I think that's why it's so popular is because it's so simple. It literally consists of only four ingredients, which are sugar, butter, vanilla, and salt. And all you have to do is put them in a stand mixer and beat on high for 10 minutes. Pros of American buttercream include the fact that it's really, really sweet, so it's really good for like a children's birthday cake or birthday party. It only takes 10 minutes to make. You can make it with your eyes closed, so it's really simple. And it doesn't require any uh, fancy equipment or really advanced skills to make. The downside of American buttercream is you could tell uh, by the taste of it that it's pretty simple to make. It's not the highest quality buttercream, so if you are a professional baker, I mean, I probably wouldn't use it. It, uh, it doesn't pipe as well as the other two that we're gonna talk about today. Also, it's a lot more dense than the Swiss and the Italian buttercream, which could be a good thing if that's what you're looking for, but it could also be a bad thing. So just be aware of that. All in all, American buttercream is great. Uh, it's really easy to make. It tastes great, I think. Uh, but it's probably not best if you really want to wow your friends. But it's perfect for the hobby baker, just like me. And you can make it in huge batches, uh, and it's it's relatively easy to make. So I want to do these together because they're both they're more similar than different. Uh, they're both very very delicious. And while they might be slightly more difficult to make, they're still relatively easy to make. They require a double boiler, which. Uh, a double boiler could be made just from a metal bowl inside of a boiling pot of water, but not everyone uses metal mixing bowls, so it might not be equipment that everyone has in the home. Then you need to also uh, make a meringue base, and making a meringue is pretty difficult. I've messed up meringues a bunch of times, especially when you're talking about consistency of a meringue and the difference between soft peaks, stiff peaks, and firm peaks. Overall, I think both of these are, are a lot more elaborate than the American buttercream, and I think it's worth it. If you've tasted either of these before, I think you would agree. American buttercream is just very sweet, and unless you like really sweet pastries, it's just, you're not gonna, it's not gonna be your thing, so. All right, next we're just gonna talk about Swiss meringue buttercream. So Swiss meringue buttercream starts with a meringue base, and the way you make this meringue is you're going to put the egg whites and some sugar in a double boiler and you're going to heat that until it reaches 160. So you're, you're putting the egg whites and the sugar into a double boiler until it reaches 160 and after it reaches 160 you're going to beat that mixture. And it's really cool actually what happens on the molecular level. Uh, when you're heating the egg whites you're denaturing the proteins of the egg whites and then again, when you're mixing it in the mixer, you're de denaturing the proteins even more. And what denaturing means is that you're taking one big molecule and you're kind of unfolding it. And then once all the proteins are denatured, what they do is they actually form a loose connective network around air bubbles. And that's how you get your meringue. Now adding the sugar is really important, not only for the sweetness, but it also stabilizes those loose connective networks. So it's super important to add the sugar really cool. And because you're dissolving the sugar into the egg whites really early on in the Swiss meringue, your uh, buttercream is going to be a lot more stable. All right, next up is Italian buttercream. And this is a very similar process of the Swiss buttercream, but you're not mixing the egg whites and the sugar in a pot and a double boiler and heating it up. So what you're actually doing is you're making an invert sugar. So what invert sugar is, is you're putting water and sugar in a pot or a double boiler and you're heating it to the soft ball stage. So you're heating it to about 235 to 245 degrees Fahrenheit. And the way you can test it without a thermometer, oh my God, it's so cool. So you actually take the mixture and you drop a little droplet into cold water. 
and then you'll grab the little droplet with your fingers and it should be able to squish like a soft ball. I mean, who would have thought? So I got some more nerdiness coming your way. So what you're actually doing when you're hitting the softball stage is you're taking the sucrose, which is just table sugar, and adding water, and this causes a hydrolysis reaction. So, okay, let's break down that word. Hydrolysis, there's two parts to that word. There's hydro and lysis. Hydro means water, and lysis means separate. So when you put it together, it means that you're taking a bigger molecule and you're basically using water to separate it out into two or more uh, smaller molecules. So what happens when you're making this invert sugar is you're taking sucrose and you're breaking it up to glucose and fructose. All right, so on all, I mean, I can't really decide which is the best because, you know, American is good for some situations, Italian is good for other situations, and then Swiss, I mean, Swiss is, Swiss is pretty great. If I had to decide, it would be Swiss. I mean, I can't really decide which is the best. Swiss is so versatile and stable that, I mean, you can't really go wrong with it, but it is slightly more difficult to make. But let's just pretend that I didn't pick a winner because these are all my children and I don't want to pick favorites. All right guys, really quick video this week, but thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, recommend my videos to your friends. Oh, is that too many things? All right, well, see you next week, bye.